Remember Google Glass? That sleek, overhyped little wearable from 2013 that made you look like a tech cyborg and made everyone around you uncomfortable? Yeah, those glasses. Well, Google's back, and this time, they might have actually nailed it. At TED 2025, Google quietly unveiled a prototype of its new AR smart glasses. And no, they didn't call it Google Glass 2.0, probably to avoid reviving that particular ghost. But this new version, it's smarter, sleeker, and far more practical than anything they've done before. Today, we're diving into what these glasses are, how they work, what they don't do, thankfully, and why they just might succeed where the original flopped hard enough to become a meme. The prototype looks almost indistinguishable from regular glasses. A huge leap considering one of the original glasses' biggest issues was making users look like they were filming brunch or auditioning for Black Mirror. This new version blends in intentionally. But it's not just about looks. These glasses are genuinely smart. Powered by Google's Gemini AI, they offer real-time translation, visual search, memory assistance, and more, without ever needing to pull out your phone. One demo showed a user conversing in Farsi with live subtitles appearing right in front of their eyes. Imagine traveling abroad and reading someone's words like real-life subtitles. No awkward fumbling with apps. No guessing what key mammon means. A feature called memory helps track where you left things or recall what someone said hours ago. Think of it as a photographic memory powered by a trillion-dollar company. So how does it all work? Instead of cramming a full computer into your temple like before, the glasses are lightweight and minimal. Most of the processing happens on your phone, which stays in your pocket. The glasses act as a display and sensor hub, using a full-color diffractive waveguide in the right lens. In simple terms, your lens becomes a see-through screen that overlays helpful visuals without making you feel like Iron Man. Importantly, what you don't get is just as notable. No always on camera, no awkward blinking gestures, no flashing lights that make people think they're being live streamed. Google seems to have learned from its past missteps. They didn't just upgrade the hardware. They redesigned the experience to be more helpful, less disruptive, and actually human-centric. To really appreciate Google's new direction, you have to zoom out and see what the rest of the AR world is doing because Google's not alone anymore. Take Apple's Vision Pro. It's the opposite of subtle. It's a full-on ski goggle headset packed with eye tracking, hand tracking, and ultra-high-res displays. It's amazing tech, sure, but not something you'd wear to the grocery store. Vision Pro wants to replace your MacBook. Google's glasses? They just want to quietly tell you where your gate is and remind you where you put your wallet. Different tools, different goals. Then there's Meta. After pouring billions into the metaverse, they've pivoted to smart glasses. The Ray-Ban Meta glasses, developed with Luxottica, look like regular sunglasses. They can snap photos and respond to voice commands via Meta's AI assistant. They're stylish and fun, but don't yet offer the level of contextual information or AI overlay Google is aiming for. Smaller players are still in the mix too. Snap Spectacles, Magic Leap, and others. But many of these remain flashy demos or developer tools rather than polished consumer products. The real shift now is in thinking. Instead of treating AR like a sci-fi novelty, companies are asking, how can this be genuinely useful and wearable in public without looking ridiculous? That's where Google's new glasses land. Not full virtual reality, not a laptop replacement, just subtle, assistive tech that fits into your day. And if you're excited about AR glasses but not ready to wait a year or two for Google's version, good news. There's some great options already on the market. For example, the XREL Air 2 Pro offers a floating 130-inch virtual screen that's great for watching movies or gaming. The built-in dimming tech helps reduce glare and eye strain, making it one of the most polished AR display experiences out there. If gaming's your thing, the Lenovo Legion Glasses Gen 2 are worth a look. Designed specifically for gamers on the go, they plug right into your phone, laptop, or even Nintendo Switch and provide a 120Hz virtual screen. Built-in speakers and a surprisingly good mic make them perfect for travel. Other notable mentions? The XR1 Rio Air 3S, Vitour Pro XR, 
and a few others we covered in more depth in our dedicated XR Glasses Roundup. So yeah, while Google's AR glasses may be the future, the present is already looking pretty futuristic. Let me know in the comments. Would you wear any of these in public? Are you holding out for Google's next big release? Or ready to explore what's available now? And if this breakdown was helpful, drop a like and subscribe for more deep dives into the latest in tech. While Google's new AR glasses might be the most promising we've seen yet, you don't have to wait for the future to try something smart and wearable today. From the XRL Air 2 Pro with its floating 130-inch screen to Lenovo's gamer-focused Legion Glasses Gen 2, there are already some seriously impressive options out there. Whether you're into movies on the go, gaming without a monitor, or just exploring the AR world without looking like a cyborg, there's a pair of smart glasses for you. Links to everything I mentioned are down in the description if you want to check them out. Let me know in the comments. Are you holding out for Google's release or ready to grab what's already on the market? If you enjoyed this breakdown, give it a like, subscribe for more future tech content, and I'll catch you in the next one.